Ooh, I see a boat. I think it's full too. Yeah, they're going for sea. <laughs> okay. Pretty sure that was a war crime. Oh man. As awesome as the Battlefield 5 Pacific content drop has been overall, there was one gadget that definitely broke my heart. This thing was actually in the launch trailer, and it looked awesome. I figured that pilots might finally get a cool, unique gadget to use for their planes. I'm talking, of course, about the Glide Bomb, launched from beneath a Corsair fighter. This was just a specialization tree unlock, and that's where I had my first warning sign, because it was only halfway down the unlock tree. Look how cool it looks in the trailer though, right? This cinematic drop, and then you've got a huge explosion on the ground. It looks at least half the size of one of the V1 Collins. Once I got in game though, there was one problem. It was only available in the specialization tree for the Corsair F4U1C. This C variant, in my opinion, is much harder to rank up compared to the A variant, because you just have a lot weaker weapons all the way throughout its specialization tree. But I had to work through it, I had to get that glide bomb. So, to get it ranked up, I basically used the weak wing-mounted machine guns on this thing to steal air-to-air -air kills from other players. <laughs> Not proud of that, but I wanted that glide bomb. And then when I finally unlocked it, the first time I used it, deceptively, I was actually quite impressed. And I actually saved that first kill that I got. Check this out. I'm heading in right at the start of a breakthrough match. And I'm going to aim for, you're going to see it here in a second, a sniper with a spawn beacon in one of the defensive towers. I thought at the time that I got him. See it right there? Stationary weapon destroyed and a kill. I thought that might have been a vehicle destroyed from hitting his spawn beacon. But what actually happened was the glide bomb drifted off course and hit the defensive turret. At the time though, again, I was really pumped. This thing was going to be awesome. Now that was the only chance that I got in that round to use it, but the next time I was playing as the Americans, I definitely grabbed it immediately, and well, this is what happened. Here we go. And all the cannons. Away it goes. Okay. Stationary weapon hit one. The explosion was huge. I don't know what happened there, but let's just try it again. Uh, I'll look at all these targets. Okay. 20 mil first. Pick up some easy kills there. And glide bomb on the defenses. Oh, there we go. Uh, stationary destroyed, but I feel like that was only... <laughs> A few points of damage. Okay. Kill assist. Huh. Yeah, not impressive so far. Uh, the AA? I knew he was on there. Roll again. Hit the glide bomb. Okay, is this thing glitched? Because the explosion looks huge, but just. There's just no splash damage at all. There's just nothing. It feels broken. Let's see. Are they clustered here on B? No, not really. I got one there, finally. I don't get it, though, because... I would pick bombs over this thing, at the moment, at least. I don't know if I'm just not figuring out exactly how to drift this thing, or... But, I mean, either way, the the splash damage is just terrible. Even if I'm not aiming it right. Yeah, look at this. The 20 mils are just way more effective. And I am hanging out way too much in Fliegerfaust zone. I don't know why no one has one yet. Alright, let's try this again. It takes so long to reload, too. Which, I mean, that makes sense. It's a giant bomb. Here we go. Tons of guys in the cliff. And it missed and hit a stationary weapon. Okay. There's the Fliegerfaust. Guys, I cannot figure out where this thing is going. I 
Alright, well, my team is pushing at least. Uh... Okay, yeah. All those guys are still up there. The glide bomb missed completely. Look at this. The gun is way more effective. Even if I'm going way too low for those passes. All right, here we go. Here's a tank. Bombs away. And nothing. I think it disappeared inside of the smoke and still no damage. I think I saw it skip, too. It, like, slid across the ground briefly. Yeah, the 20 mils are still the way to go. I'm going to try these things out on Pacific Storm. Again, we got breakthrough going on here. Well, here we go. Cannon. Uh, where is it? I see it. Wow. Absolutely nothing. I feel like these passes are already so risky that it would just make more sense to use the 20 mils because, you know, I can aim them. <laughs> These 20 mils aren't even that good. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> Easily kill both of those turrets uh, and some extra guys off to the side. Whereas the glide bomb hit nothing. Here we go. Bombs away. Let's just use the glide bomb and see. Enemy hit 92 with a mushroom cloud like that. We got some fighters over here. <laughs> what has my teammate gotten himself into? Oh, this one's twisty. Ooh, look at him bleeding speed. Almost. Oh, his buddy's gonna get me. hit 98 okay I think that hit right into the trenches but guys this is super disappointing one kill that is yawn mode that is nothing it looks so cool too so those were the first couple of matches with this glide bomb actually unlocked again just super disappointing and the worst part of it was I was stuck with the glide bomb until I got this weak and under equipped fighter a class ranked all the way up to the sixth level now. So I had to grind points to be able to reset the specialization tree. Once I did so, I set out on a mission to figure out if there was any loadout for this C class Corsair that would actually replace the glide bomb in my heart. <laughs> I was so disappointed. But I did find a pretty good loadout. Still, not nearly as good as the A-Class with all of its bombs and uh, better 20 mil cannons, but definitely better than the Glide Bomb. I'm going to try those six times heavy machine guns just because on the C-Class here, the 20 mils really aren't that great anyway, so uh, maybe the HMGs will be more useful for dogfighting at least. So I'm trying out the heavy rockets as well as you guys just saw, so we got... Yep, right here. Vehicles clustered on Delta. Alright, not great damage, but uh, lots of parts disabled, so I guess that's nice. I mean, it's more helpful than the Glide Bomb. And the HMGs are okay. Ooh, ooh. Okay, yeah, this is nice. Uh, the Supercharger, that definitely just saved me right there. <laughs> okay, uh, cut it a little bit close there. Yeah, as you guys can see, I have the heavy rockets. I get two of them, along with those uh, six times heavy machine guns and the supercharger for the engine. So that saved me from going right to the ocean right there. I think it also helped me turn a bit faster. Oh, this is nice. I can actually go back and uh, resupply faster, too. Who's behind me?
just go our separate ways here. Alright, lots of guys over here on this point. <laughs> the headshot. Lots of uh, fleer fouls from that point, too. Oh, and as you guys can see, I'm trying this out on Conquest because I think the ability to hit lone tanks. War infantry, right there. Alright, that wasn't bad. 78 hit. Uh, the ability to pick off lone vehicles with these rockets, I think, would probably be one of the strengths of them. And of course, it's going to storm now, so it's going to be impossible to see anything. Okay, I saw one guy laying down. Uh, so these front-facing rockets aren't just armor-piercing. They actually have a little bit of splash damage, so not bad. This guy got torn up really bad. Just taking off the leftovers there. Ooh, tank right here. Alright, vehicle destroyed. Uh, vehicle hit was just 14, so he was really damaged, but honestly, guys, I think that's, that's probably the best use for this class is the anti-tank rockets. You don't get a ton of kills, but more helpful than that glide bomb. Okay, one last thing I want to try. That's the same class C, but with those 20 mil cannons even being a little bit weaker, and the 8 times medium rockets. I'm just curious to see, once I chase these uh, fighters down, how good the medium rockets actually are. There's the 20 mils. Oh, nice. Got a whole cluster back there behind the sandbag. So let's do that again, but try and dump all the rockets as we go in, too. 20 mil first, and. Okay, four rockets. These things fire really slow. We've got eight of them. Lots of enemies suppressed. I think the 20 mil. Ooh! Liegerfaust. I think the 20 mil did most of that. I don't feel like these rockets are anything super special, but again, more helpful than the glide bomb. Let's see what else we got down here. I'm determined to make this loadout work. Here we go, right in the center. Again, I feel like it's the 20 mil doing all the work here, and the rockets are just suppressing people. So let's kill this AA that's going after me with the 20 mils, and then let's try it with the with the rockets too. Do a comparison. Yep, he's looking for me again. So I'll try uh, just the rockets, get all eight ready. He sees me though. Ah, those last couple went off. Uh, yeah, not great damage. If I'd been, ooh, fighter. <laughs> get out of here. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, if I'd been more on target with those last few rockets, I might have gotten the AA gun, but 20 mil is just the way to go right now. I think all these rockets could use a bit of additional uh, splash damage. Alright guys, so there you have it. Uh, glide bomb, disappointing. The two times rockets, actually quite a bit of fun. And the medium rockets, just... I'll call that one okay. We're like the, the Goldilocks of Corsair C-Class loadouts here. Uh, I think the, the large rockets fits just right. Uh... I'm still going to be sad though, that glide bomb looked so awesome. <laughs>